My husband cheated and gave me herpes. I hate him and I'm about to explode. My excuse of a husband has been cheating for a year and gave me herpes. I posted this in an infidelity group but now I'm sort of realizing that I probably don't want constructive criticism or sane advice. I don't feel like doing anything rational right now. I just want to explode and to scream that I hate my husband more than anything on earth. I just want to be able to smash something and act totally undignified. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. I'm a 35-year-old woman and have been married to my husband, 40, for almost 10 years. We've been together for 13 years. He has a job that keeps him away from home a lot. It's been that way for most of our relationship. I knew about this going into marriage. By now, I'm used to it. I miss him when he's gone and there have definitely been times where I've struggled being on my own, but at this point it's just the way our life is. I would worry about him and his safety and what I'd do if the toilet broke and silly stuff like that. I never worried about him cheating on me. It's not that I have a huge ego. I just felt that he was honest and dedicated to me only. Before we met, I know he dated many women. That didn't matter to me. He picked me and I never had any suspicion that he was cheating. My world has been turned upside down over the last week. I had a sore on my genital area. I thought it was an ingrown hair. It initially looked just like ingrown hairs I've had in that area before. I've always been able to remove them and the spot heals up. No matter what I did, I could get this ingrown hair to go away. It got bigger and started to hurt and itch and started to look more like a blister but that I couldn't pop. Disgusting, I know, and it was. I googled and I didn't even pay attention to anything related to STDs because I thought I had no reason to think I'd have an STD. Plus, I read that herpes will usually appear as a cluster and this didn't really look like the pictures of genital herpes. I had an annual gyno appointment coming up and told myself I'd just wait to get it checked out if it was still there. The original one had crusted over and started to heal, but then a new smaller one popped up. I still was not suspecting an STD. Sure enough, my doctor took one look and said it was almost certainly herpes. I was stunned. I asked her if she could do a test to be sure because I was adamant that I could not have herpes. She took a swab to confirm and it came back positive. I know I haven't slept with anyone else in 13 years. I was blazing hot when I told my husband about it, wanting to know where I got this from. He insisted I didn't get it from him. He was very convincing too. He didn't seem shaken by this news at all, not the least bit nervous. I told him that I did not do this to myself. We argued about it and I was so mad, demanding to know what he's been doing. Finally, he said fine, I slept with somebody else, but I don't have herpes. I was so enraged by this point I'm surprised I didn't destroy the whole house. I freaked out, told him I hated him, said a lot of horrible things that I fully meant. I told him to get out of our house. He initially refused, saying he wouldn't leave his house. I was in tears and just about screaming get out over and over again by this point. He left, but he acted annoyed by it all, no apologies or shame or anything. A few days later he contacted me and asked if we could talk. I told him I didn't want to talk to him, but he had five minutes to say whatever he wanted to say. He said he was sorry for what he'd done to me and that he has been using sex to deal with his problems for many years. He said he's addicted to sex and has been sleeping with random women while away from home for almost our entire marriage. He claims he has depression, anxiety, and hates being away from home and he has always tried to avoid coping with drinking or drugs, but then he discovered sex with strange women and he was hooked. All I said in response was that I hated him and I hung up the phone. I haven't talked to him since then. He texted me to ask about our kids and I told him that I told them that he's away for work again. I know I can't keep them from him, but I just couldn't stand the thought of having to interact with him. I can't believe it. I'm devastated, both over the fact that I now have herpes and that I've been married to somebody I didn't even know. I thought I was so lucky. I always felt bad and sympathized for friends who are unlucky in love or who got divorced, but secretly I'd tell myself that'll never be me because my husband is better than all of the guys they've ever been with. I thought I had this amazing guy. Now I hate him, but I love him and just can't imagine how I will move forward. We have four kids together, so I can't just divorce him and never see him again. It'd be so much easier if that was the case. I'm too embarrassed to tell anyone just yet. I can't imagine having to tell my friends and family about what he's done. I haven't done anything wrong, so why do I feel so ashamed? Is it because I feel like a fool for being tricked for so long? I'm angry with him, but I also feel so angry with myself for some reason.